below. Welcome back to a new video. Today I am actually just commuting from Salt Lake to New York and I have a really exciting trip tomorrow. I'm going to Iceland. I'm so excited. I managed to get an LAX two day on my schedule and somebody, which I love, you guys know, those are trips that I love since I get to go home and visit my parents, but somebody wanted to or was willing to swap that for an Iceland trip. So I'm very excited about that. I will try to take you along on my journey and show you as much as I can of flight center content as well as actually Actually seeing Iceland and stuff but I don't even have my my trip doesn't even start till tomorrow at 9 45 p.m. New York time and it is almost 4 p.m. Salt Lake time here so I'm flying in the day before tomorrow I'm just going to probably go work out and then try to take a long nap and then get ready and go to work so that I'm prepared for my overnight flight because our flight doesn't even leave till like 11 15 p.m. so we're gonna have to take a nap and let that nap propel us throughout a 28 hour span, essentially. Got my nails done today, I did purple. Um, they have like little Sailor Moon decals on them, but it's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, my camera battery is flashing when an hour ago it told me it was full when I checked. So I don't know why, but I do have my charger, so I will charge it tonight. That is gonna be all for now. So excited to take you guys along this journey. Get ready for some cool Iceland stuff. I just got into the hotel room. It is 2.35 local time, so Iceland time, which is four hours ahead of New York time, which is seven hours ahead of Salt Lake time. And I did not sleep one second. I have not slept. So um, we are just gonna ride this. We're gonna power through. We're gonna ride this wave of exhaustion like it's nothing. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so originally I was thinking of going to the Sky Lagoon, but some people from my crew are going to rent a car and see the active volcano going on right now, so that's what we're gonna do instead. So really quickly, I'm going to change out of my uniform, put some regular clothes on, probably go to a shop, go to eat some food, and then we're going to take a car to go to the volcano and hike up and go see the active volcano, which I really feel like is a once in a lifetime experience, which is why I'm doing that over the Sky Lagoon. They have the Sky Lagoon and the Blue Lagoon. Sky Lagoon is closer to Reykjavik. The Blue Lagoon is about an hour away and it costs more to get there. So that's why we were originally thinking of doing the Sky Lagoon. Sky Lagoon I think is newer. I think everyone and their dog has seen pictures of the Blue Lagoon. The water is like blue. People put it, the clay on their face and stuff like that. Sky Lagoon is different, it's closer, and they give some airline employees a discount, so we were gonna go do that, but when the option for the active volcano became a thing, my brain instantly went there. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to just change and get ready to go out. I'm starving, so I need some real food, and yeah, I'll take you along. First of all, though, I'm absolutely dying for my view. Like, this is just giving, ugh, I don't have the right words, to be honest, I don't have the right words but it's giving, it's giving Reykjavik. <laughs> of course it's giving Reykjavik, you idiot. <laughs> begun our trek. I think it's a two mile hike there and a two mile hike back. Not 100% sure. So we'll see how this goes. I'm trying to think of this coldness as like a refreshing break from the heat of summer, but I'm struggling with that thought because it's cold and I don't have the proper hiking gear, but we're just going to get through it because I'm going to go see real volcano lava. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll touch it. I'll let you know if it's as soft as it looks. Been going from 
I can hear the rumbling. I think I can hear the rumbling of a volcano. craziest thing is being as many feet away as I am, like probably 500 feet or so, I can feel the heat. It is insane. stuff that's just crazy like look at the steam like extremely special Goodbye, volcano. You're incredible. Earth is incredible. Also, it's 9 20 p.m. and it's this right out. So, that's gonna be crazy too. Okay, party people. I have one last update for you tonight and it's all gonna be talking. I did not vlog very much coming down the mountain. Oh my gosh. I just looked at myself in the viewfinder. I really do look as bad as I feel, just in case everyone was wondering. And I'll get into that in a second. But anyway, I did not vlog very much coming down the mountain. I gotta be wholeheartedly, completely honest with you. That was pure misery. I don't think I've ever subjected myself to that kind of condition for that long. Like it was probably 30 degrees Fahrenheit or around low 30 degrees Fahrenheit, but we were soaking wet. The air was just complete mist. I mean, we were in a cloud and then it started raining. So it was just like, you were just like walking through rain essentially, like a rain cloud essentially. And so my jacket was wet, my sweater beneath was wet, um, my pants were wet, my shoes were soaking wet. So 30 degrees quickly feels like a whole 10 degrees when you're that wet. Is my camera fogging up? I can't tell. And it took, it took a little longer coming down than it did going up, I think, which is really shocking. But all of that to say, was it worth it? Yes. Would I ever do it again under these conditions? No. Like I would have to have the right gear with me. It'd have to go at an earlier time of day because by the time we got down, down the mountain into the taxi, it was 11.30 p.m. at night. And it doesn't get dark here at this time of year till like about 11, Is it didn't get pitch black till like 11 p.m. But that still made for very uncomfortable weather because obviously it gets colder as it gets later at night. But I hadn't had a chance to update the, the vlog. We were supposed to leave at 11.15 p.m. and we didn't end up leaving till 3.40 a.m. So, we had a four and a half hour delay. Long story short, all of what we know is that our aircraft we were supposed to fly was coming in from Atlanta and Atlanta was having major delays because they were having really bad storms. So our aircraft was sitting in Atlanta, not able to leave. And so eventually when the storms died down in Atlanta, our aircraft, the people on board, the pilots were able to bring, basically fly that flight to JFK. It landed at JFK after 1 a.m. and then it was cleaned, it was catered, and then we got on board 
and then we started boarding so it was no one's fault i mean this was like purely weather issue but it's obviously i would have had four extra hours of sleep which would have been very necessary because girl i have not slept let's see it is 2 a.m i think it's after 2 a.m nope it's 1 42 which is which is 9 42 i think yeah 1 42 which is 9 42 new york time which means i've been awake since because i woke up at 10 30 a.m new york time and then i took an, a 90 minute nap around 6 p.m but i'm just gonna say i've been up since 10 30 a.m new york time so I've been up for 36 hours almost with no rest. I mean, I had a 90 minute nap, that was it. And that 90 minute nap was over 24 hours ago. So just just to keep things to keep things uh, in, in perspective there. Um, anyway, I'm obviously very tired. You can see it in my face. You can probably hear it in my voice. I've been complaining a lot the last little bit. So I need to go to bed. We don't have any time to do anything fun in the morning. Unfortunately, uh, our van pickup time is at 8.45 a.m. So no time to do anything and i'm very tired so i wouldn't even make time to do anything even if i could i'm hoping that reykjavik airport has some decent food that i can grab for the flight and um yeah also i usually do a hotel tour way too tired also the room is a disaster so if you want to see that i did post it on my tiktok so you can go check it out on my tiktok because i always post um hotel room tours on my tiktok so if you're interested it's just at Kendra Cuss, like all of my other platforms, but I also leave it linked in the description box. But if you want to see a hotel tour, because I always do it in my vlogs, but it's a disaster right now and you can see it on TikTok. So yeah. Good morning and goodbye to this video.